What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and I couldn't obviously let this stuff go, right? We've talked a lot about Hogwarts Legacy, the game, and the gameplay, and trust me, we're going to be doing that again over the, the next several, well, days, months, you know, maybe even years, depending on how long uh, this goes. But I wanted to kind of do this separate thing and talk about what people are saying online. And this really has been a divide on the internet, um, which we kind of, I guess, could have expected to happen, right? But what I think, and, and I said this on Twitter, by the way, I'm very close to 3,000 followers over there. So if you haven't followed me, the link's in the description if you guys want to. Uh, numbers mean a, a great deal more than they should to me. No, I'm just kidding. So, you know, what I predicted, I predicted this over on Twitter. I've actually said this in passing, but I'm going to say it here so we have video evidence of what I mean. I'm going to say that this is going to be that game that really does divide normal gamers from these gaming outlets, these these gaming media, these gaming journalists, right? I think this is going to be the game that fully, if there's ever like an awakening moment, right? Like Kotaku has been an awakening moment for years for several people and noticing, oh, they suck. They are actual garbage human beings. They are not actually different from each other. They're all the same person, but just like 30 of them and they write articles, but they're they have the exact same view. They there's there, there's no difference from one person to the next, right? Now I've known this for years, but people are slowly waking up, which is fine. IGN, GameSpot, PC Gamer, Games Radar, all these, right? They're all, I mean, to various degrees, sure. But I do think this is going to be the game, and I'll walk you through my prediction. This is going to be the game that sites outright refuse to cover. Sites are going to say we can't do it. We can't, in good faith, talk about a video game worked on by the working class gaming developers that we love so much and we tell you that you're not supposed to be mean to them you can't discriminate they need to be inclusive they need to be diverse they need to be equal pay they need to be but we care about them we love them so much but these guys they're evil and never in your life should you support a game like this these are the same people by the way just kind of i want to just that's very hypocritical and that's what these people live by right you literally even like normal day-to-day -day people on twitter that are throwing fits about this game talking about the goblin rebellion all this stuff do they not realize they're also the same people that demand all of this stuff in the workforce and stuff and yet they basically they, they and this is again they want these people fired they want avalanche closed they want this game to never release, and if it does release, they want it to sell five copies, lose millions of dollars, and have each and every one of those people fired and kicked out. That's what they want. Don't let them fool you into thinking that they want anything else. That's what they want. That's proper consequences for making a Hogwarts game, for making a Harry Potter game. Just I want you guys to remember that. But I really do think we're in this age where these sites are going to say, nope, we can't in good faith do this. And the proof's in the pudding. So let's show a couple examples, okay? The first one, and the one I want to focus mainly on, is IGN. In case you might have missed it, with the Hogwarts Legacy video game receiving a fresh round of promotion ahead of release, Harry Potter fans are once again questioning how to grapple with their love of the wizarding world in the face of J.K. Rowling's transphobic rhetoric. Kinda funny, publishing a video called the Hogwarts Legacy Dilemma. And that's, you know, that's a real good one, because that's the one I've seen, and really IGN's is basically like that as well. GameSpot, I believe, on the day that the state of play happened, they literally did a tweet about, or they did an article about the J.K. Rowling statements, but then also, I guess they have other writers that are like, just talking about this so it's like the same site and by the way I, I am okay with the fact that like different writers exist right same site on one hand they're bashing the game and bashing the rhetoric and bashing the fans and then just on the same day just different person just on the same site just publishes articles just talking about the game. it's actually that is very much not synchronized at the same time though hey two different people can actually have two different opinions uh, it's just you know it's, it's just funny how it goes but really kind of funny so, you know IGN I've seen it on Twitter a ton as well the dilemma the I guess what whatever IGN said right this kind of struggle the thing that I said to IGN is there's no sane people actually struggling whatsoever. There's nobody. Here's the thing. If you don't want to buy this game, don't buy it. And maybe also shut up. Or maybe, you know what? No, you are allowed to talk. So I'm not going to necessarily tell you to shut up. But if you're going to have the guts to say, I'm not getting the game. I hate this stuff. All Fine. I'm with you. You, can, you have every right to think and believe and not buy or buy whatever you want. But if you come to me or you perp, you know what I mean? If you go out of your way to shame and insult 
and any other you know vocabulary word you want to use the people that do like this game no you're actually the problem i'm not the problem the fans aren't the problem the community's not the problem you are the problem right i saw a guy who went out of his way uh, a washington post gaming writer went out of his way to say you know well he i i guess behind the scenes he doesn't like uh, harry potter he's never really liked the brand but he muted the words of like hogwarts legacy hogwarts and then in his tweet he also said like he's shocked how many peers of his actually have good things to say about it so he's attacking right that's very like he's trying to disguise it but he's actually attacking and then he does a, a second tweet to it and says this is not an attack those that are coming after me and saying this or that about me i'm gonna block you but you went out of your way in that first tweet to mute the words on twitter hogwarts legacy you also made it a very clear point to say you're like in, in, amazed in a bad way about how many of your peers are saying good things about hogwarts so what is that saying it's saying that if you're doing that you're against this guy he doesn't like you he's gonna mute you he's gonna do all that and then if you had a problem with that well you're the problem and he's gonna block you these are what these people are they're losers they're people that are very one-dimensional okay i've said it time and time again but i know i've gone like away from my prediction like 17 times in this video but here's the thing i'm very happy this is happening yes if you can believe it i'm very happy this is happening and i'm even more happy that hogwarts legacy is the game it's happening to because here's again the situation but this time i will finish i will not get away from this this prediction theory of mine you're gonna have and you already are having right dilemmas struggles okay these these ign's of the world they're going to because again they live in echo chambers some of them not all some of them are going to outright boycott this game they're going to say we're not doing it we're not going to cover this game this is not going to go over well because as i constantly say on this channel this game is made for a very a wider audience than any of these sites or people give it credit for okay more people are into this game than these people give it credit for people that are sane normal people people that identify as whatever they want people of any gender all of them not all obviously there's some people that obviously are not right but i have seen on twitter i've seen in youtube comments there's a lot of you guys that are allies or liter or actual parts of these communities right of these people that claim to be very very upset about this or then you just have you know just a straight person right saying oh you know i'm an i'm an ally all this stuff but then they forget that like there are actual people in that community that also are going to buy this game and i love to see that more than anything else i love to see these people pretending to be allies pretending to be friends and then in reality you're like you have people that are just again all these different kinds of people who cares who you are okay who cares what you identify as your people and that's all that really matters right your people right and they pretend like they know what you feel and then you'll have people that come out in those groups that say what are these morons you know getting so upset about it's a video game i can or that's one thing it's a video game i'm interested i'm gonna play it i can separate the art from the artist of jk rowling right i don't care what jk rowling says uh i'm supporting the developer you can go down a laundry list of ex and this is what they'll call excuses right i've seen literal people saying well if you're gonna make or like if you have to give a reason or when you are giving your reasons why you like this game just admit that you're a certain word that you're against certain people right that's and i i won't say the word too many times youtube has problems there right but it's like are you are you out of your mind are you insane that's not how it works that's again what these people and 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 this is again i went on a tangent i'm so sorry this is the boiling point this is the end game because this game is not a game that's an indie game it's not a game that's going to sell 500,000 units this is a gigantic game and it's from people all over the world of all different backgrounds of all different you know diverse all of that stuff so many people are going to play this game hogwarts legacy and these people right that think they're in charge that think that they have like the backing of the masses that think well we can just label everybody who likes this game as a certain word every single one of you is that word and there's no telling the difference between you which is funny because they're actually that word right these are the people that look at these things and immediately relate so they'll look at the goblin rebellion and immediately relate it to some like political thing going on right now and they call us the words and and yet they're the ones who immediately draw the line they say oh this is has to be here's the one 
and then you draw the line and that's exactly what it's it's referencing doesn't that make you that word because you're associating one thing to the other you're the one doing that not me i could care less it's a goblin rebellion i'm gonna fight those guys i'm gonna side with them on one on the slytherin playthrough and i'm gonna take those guys out on the gryffindor playthrough that's how i'm gonna do it okay that's the plan so i don't care <laughs> it's like that's and it's like that doesn't make you evil and again that's where these people are really they're digging their own grave they're digging it because they're not gonna cover it some of them already aren't covering it some people didn't do the live stream of the state of play that normally would you have people like again all, all these different youtubers or all these different just uh you know sites in general that would normally i mean what is that even what does that show right when you have like an ign I'm not saying IGN, although they could be a site that eventually boycotts it, but, like, if you have a site that's just, like, a gaming news site, and, like, they just purposely ignore, not just even ignore, they come out and say, if you want us to cover this game, you're evil, you're the bad ones, we're the good guys, so we're literally not going to cover this game, but the game is going to be mega popular, everybody's going to be playing it, right, it's going to sell... 10 million units probably within the first couple this game is gonna be gigantic i mean i don't know how many times i have to say it and i don't think these guys again understand that and it's not even just necessarily that but then it's like well then you label everybody that's going to be playing it a certain word the 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 diversity of that group is so big and you're messing with a very passionate group and you're messing with a very big group and i, I just think this is really going to kind of boil over and it's showing people i mean you see it one thing I didn't even say, right? That IGN tweet. So I tweeted. I mean, I like there was no ratio involved, right? I'm too small for that. But there were like I got a lot of likes compared to com there was no negative comments to my tweet. And that's on IGN, right? If you go on Kotaku and you talk the way I talk, you're going to get people in that group that like have something to say to me, right? But like even IGN, maybe 50-50, nobody had a single negative thing to say about what I said. And you just look down the, the line of the tweets people are literally echoing what I, you know, saying in different ways. Like nobody actually cares. Nobody's struggling. Nobody has this internal conflict, whether to get it or not. Let me, let me offer you some advice. Get the game or don't get the game. Again, though, don't come to me and tell me that I'm an evil person for doing it. Don't, don't. I've said it before, even for like Fantastic Beasts 3, I'm not seeing the movie. I'm, you know, the Johnny Depp, Amber Heard stuff. I support Johnny Depp. That's a main reason why I'm not seeing it. In fact, it probably is the main reason. But guess what? I'm not going to shame you guys into seeing it or not seeing it. If you want to see it, knock yourselves out. I'm not. I'm going to stand behind it. But that, who cares? That's my opinion. That's my right as a person to spend my money on it or not. And, and that's totally cool from them to say that too. If IGN wants to, if the leader of IGN, right, if they want to say, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to buy it. Fine. That's your right. Now, again, though, you work at a gaming website and you're like the editor in chief. Like if, if that happens, I, maybe there's a little bit more that goes into that, but to shame somebody for doing it, like, are we out of our minds? And yes, the answer is yes, they are. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just had to get that off of my chest a little bit. Uh, like I said, well, this is a very, I do these videos. Most of the videos obviously are breaking down what we've seen. And uh, a lot of more of those are coming very, very soon to the channel. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment. If you guys have something to say to me that would more, more than happy to read them. Uh, like I said, if you want, you guys want to subscribe, turn the bell icon on so you guys know when all these videos go up. All my social media is also in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video.